I think we live in a very exciting times when it comes to food production. Because today we have 7 billion people on this planet and it will grow to close to 10 billion is the prediction in 2050. And that basically means 50% more food needs to be produced every day. And to be honest, we don't know yet how to do that. If you were to increase the arable area and use more resources to increase food production, this could have a negative effect on the climate. A negative impact on climate means more difficulty to grow food. So there's a real challenge at the moment ahead of us. I used to get my urgency from looking at future generations, how will they look at our generation? Because I think everybody's drive is to leave a better world for the future generations. And I realized if they look back, I'm not sure I can claim that. And then uh, more and more it became clear to me, if you look at scientific literature, actually it is fact-based that we will not leave a better world for the future generations. The food chain that we have today is really not fit to feed 10 billion people 20, 30 years from now. So we truly have an urgent problem that we need to solve. If I look at a responsible food chain for future generations, this imbalance with nature, uh, it is circular. So I think we can very well define together what a responsible food chain means. And what for me is great and inspiring is we can really translate that as a company also in targets for ourselves, for our company and for us personally, how we can deliver our small part to a responsible food chain. The challenge of the current food chain asks for new solutions. And I think that's where AgriFirm gets in. Because if there's one power that we have in our company, it is knowledge. And we combine it with very passionate people working for AgriFirm, actually having a personal drive to work on the responsible food chain. So the short-term impact uh, for AgriFirm is basically, you know, we don't measure ourselves just uh, in terms of success in financials, but we also look at the impact that we have on the responsible food chain. Uh, very practical examples, uh, how much did we work on improving the efficiency, uh, the, the feed conversion rate or the milk uh, that we produce per animal, the, the reduction of usage of antibiotics, the reduction of usage of water. What about uh, the soil? Uh, so if, if you use soil, it's like animals, if you use it in the wrong way, it will deplete. Uh, so how can you keep it healthy? So there are very practical measures that we can take to basically say, yes, that is what we define as a responsible food chain. To implement our strategy, basically we have a fantastic core business and we are proud of that and we will protect that and we will build on that. Uh, at the same time, if you look at the pace of the change that is required and the amount of change that is required, we will take more risk and we will invite our people and we will show it by our own behavior that we are willing to take risk together with partners, together with customers to say, you know, is this solution crystal clear already? No, but we will step in because we realize you know, we feel a certain sense of urgency and we are willing to take the risk with you because that will be the way we will find breakthrough successes and that will actually be a very important part of achieving that responsible food chain. My personal dream is in 2050 my daughter has, my eldest daughter has my age and I hope she has children as well and I hope these children live in a world where food is no issue because it is produced completely in balance with nature. Uh, that, is, that is sufficient food, uh, it's affordable, uh, there is biodiversity, so they live in beautiful nature. Uh, and we are back to the point where we are today, that we don't have to worry about our food chain. Because the farmers that produce the food in 2050 uh, have found their well-deserved place, basically respected as the producers of the food for the world, um, and respected because they sorted that incredible challenge that we see today. Mm -hmm.